Hi, my name is Kyung Chang Nim. I'm a PhD student at the University of Tennessee. I'm going to share our work of phishing versus legit, comparative analysis of client-side resources of phishing and target brand websites. This research was conducted alongside Jaehwan Park and Dr. Duan Kim. Phishing attacks trick people by providing legitimate-looking websites. Phishing websites are typically created from benign websites. The goal of phishing attacks is lure victims by creating similar-looking websites. Despite their visual similarities, the process of how these phishing websites mimic their legitimate counterparts remain in mystery. We assume that when phishing attackers copy from benign websites, they would copy resources such as JavaScript and CSS. From this trend of copying benign websites to create phishing websites, we want to see how do phishing websites employ client-side resources in comparison to their corresponding legitimate target brand websites. To understand the dynamics between phishing and legitimate websites, we started by collecting data on phishing URLs from the anti-phishing working group, which is called APWG. Then, we collected benign target brand websites from archives Wayback Machine, which contains crawled websites over a decade ago. This method helped us to compare client-side resources between phishing and benign websites. Following this, we identified and analyze the corresponding target brand websites to scrutinize the client-side resources employed. As a result, we discovered that phishing websites often utilize resources from older versions of legitimate websites, sometimes lagging by over 1,643 days. This temporal gap can be strategic choice by attackers to use outdated resources. We also found that phishing websites use certain JavaScript libraries on phishing attacks. In our first example, phishing websites were leveraging certain JavaScript libraries such as Axios. This library was used to exfiltrate sensitive user information. In another finding, attackers employed the so socket.io library to decode URL parameters and transmit them to external servers in real time. 